hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is Hitesh and I'm back with another tutorial so in this one we are going to create this environment piece in Maya we're going to break this down in few parts so in this one we are going to model as much as we can of this asset so I have this view in my front view and I've taken this uh, human body mesh for the measurements and I'm going to start with a simple wall and for that I'll just take a plane and I'm going to change the width and height turn down the subdivisions for now and rotate it And let's change the width and height. I'm going to place this here. Go to vertex mode and trace this and place this reference image. And our wall is touching here to the floor. So I'm going to push this down till here. Go to wireframe mode and I'm going to add some loops to create this door frame like this and I'm going to select this face and I'm going to extract faces Now I'm going to add few more edge loops in this face we just extracted. I'm going to add one here. And I'm going to select this, add one in the middle and then bevel this so that we have both edges on the same distance from each other. So this looks good. And again, I'm going to select this face and extract. I'm going to select this one and we need to create this frame. So I'm going to add a little bit of thickness. like this and push it back a little bit and I'm going to isolate it and remove the bottom faces because they are not going to be visible I'm going to select the edge mode and select all the hard corner edges like this and bevel with one segment just to get a little bit of smoothness like this or maybe we can increase the friction to something like 0 0.35 or 36 I think this should be enough now I'm going to go to front mode again and now we need to create this metal door frame so I'm going to again take multi cut tool add one loop here like this and then I'm going to go here add and split and bevel I'm 
I think we need to just move this a little bit to the left. And again, I'm going to select this, then extract. Select these faces and again, add thickness like this. Go to face mode and I'm going to again delete the faces in the bottom. Bring this back here. And again, I'm going to isolate it. Select all the corner edges. and bevel this I think this much should be enough and for this part I'm going to just use connect tool to remove this and gone and same thing you can do on the back I think we just missed something here. So I'm going to again bevel this, add one segment. And then use connect tool. And let's go back and you can repeat the same thing here so i'm going to go to vertex mode and just use connect tool and connect these two vertices on the front and the back and we are done with this part and now we need to create these borders so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just place the store back here for now and i'm going to go to wireframe mode and um let's take a multi cut tool like this Let's take a multi cut tool and I'm going to add one loop here and one in this part. And now, what you can do is you can either extrude this part or you can duplicate it and then extrude those faces so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just duplicate these faces combine them and add a little bit of thickness something like this then i'm going to go to face mode and i'm going to just select the faces on the side and delete because they're not going to be visible so now i can just select all the edges here and bevel with a little bit of friction like this
let's go to vertex mode and i'm going to select the vertices here and i'm going to pull them down till here like this so we're done with the borders as well and now we can work on the door and the pipe up here so let's work on the door first so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to select this take multi cut tool add few loops like this to create a segment for this part and i'm going to just either add loops here in the next tool or we can take a separate queue for this so for now i'll just leave it like this bring this out and i'm going to go here then extract face select this and i'm going to add some thickness for the door and i'm going to place it back inside this frame like this now for this part what i'm going to do is let's go in the front view and again i'm going to take multi cut tool add few loops like this and again extract this modify center pivot and then add a little bit of thickness place it back here and i'm going to isolate it for now and i'm going to select all the corner edges to bevel and bevel with one segment i'm going to turn down the friction a little bit something like this and again i'm going to use the vertex mode and connect tool to remove these n-gons and convert them in core polygons So we have an issue here we forgot to select this edge and be careful when you are selecting the edge again i'm going to go to bevel add one segment turn down the friction and then repeat the connect process like this and we are done with this part bring this back
and for this one uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to modify center pivot place it here and i'm going to just scale this down and extrude like this and rotate it place it up here and now we can create duplicate and place them like this you can also change the size of these vents if you want but i think these are good for now now for these bars what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to front view first and i think we have a little bit of cylinder here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a cylinder place this up here change the radius and height place this here like this I'm going to go to top view bring this out here go to wireframe mode and uh, i'm going to select the top faces select similar and delete and i'm going to select these two faces and delete then select the edges and extrude like this and you can bridge these two and to fill the gap between this part i'm going to add some thickness like this so if you add thickness in the negative value it turns black what you can do is you can just go to this mesh display and set the normals to reverse and you can select this part and add few loops like this and you can use these vertices to change the shape a little bit like this and for the bottom part you can just select this one and bring this down of course create a duplicate and again i'm going to change this a little bit like this now let's add a knob for the door and for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a sphere bring this up here like this change the radius a little bit and rotate it bring this out and i'm going to go to top view and select the faces on the back 
like this and I'm going to delete them select these edges extrude then one more time like this and you can also close this part like this and to remove the triangles you can also delete the alternate edge or you can just remove this entire face because it's not going to be visible like this and you can also select the edges here like this and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to just add a bevel to smooth these edges just a little bit like this and you can now place it on the door like this if you think the knob is a bit smaller what you can do is you can just scale this up and bring this out a little bit so i think this looks okay and uh, and now let's model the pipe up here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a cube place this up here and match with the reference uh, all right so i think this much should be enough and i'm going to go to face mode and offset a little bit and then intrude and i'm going to extract this face and i'm going to create the vent same as we did for the door let's scale this down and add some thickness bring this up center pivot and i'm going to rotate this like this create a duplicate place this here and again press shift t to create more duplicates like this bring this out like this and what you can do is you can just select this and combine for now and i'm going to create a duplicate and place this here and other one here now we need to add a pipe so i'm going to take a cylinder Bring this here and change the radius rotate it
and of course change the height i'm going to change the subdivisions to 24 and let's scale this pull this up I'm going to add one segment here in the middle delete half of it go to vertex mode select this vertex and bring this back a little bit like this and i'm going to select the faces delete select this extrude then one more time extrude and you can isolate it for now and you can either close this part or you can keep it open so i'm going to close this and what i'm going to do is i'm going to just select the faces delete and extrude one more time but only halfway and now i'm going to select these two edges and bevel add one segment and we are done now i'm going to first bring everything back then use mirror like this and uh, i'm going to select the vertices place them here and these ones on the other vent like this and now you can create a duplicate and place this one here and bring this one back like this so now we have completed the model for our environment and now you can also just extrude this a little bit like this To give it a wall like feel and again i'm going to set the normal to reverse and we are done so that's it that was the modeling for this environment and in the next one we are going to unwrap this entire model and then texture it in substance painter and we're also going to take this in unreal engine and set up the whole scene so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and if you have any queries then do let me know in the comment section and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching